What's up everyone, it's Hector here with another Wrestling Championship Bout Replica Review. And today I have the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, also known as the Dome Glow because of that Dome Glow right there in the center plate. Also known as the 10 pounds of gold because they claimed it weighed 10 pounds and was made out of gold when it first released. I believe they found out later that it wasn't really 10 pounds, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this particular replica was manufactured by the Figures Toy Company. It is an ultra deluxe replica which means it has about five to six millimeter thick plates and it has 3D etching. Um, usually ultra deluxe plates have at least four millimeter thick plates and a real leather strap. But when I went on the Figures Toy Company website, the wrestling superstore, it said that the ultra deluxe NWA Dome Globe didn't have a real leather strap, that it was a simulated leather strap and it had lacing around the edges but when I opened the box for the first time, it did kind of smell like leather and the lacing kind of looks like leather. The, the base strap, that does not seem like leather at all. <clears throat> it seems like maybe there's cardboard or something in there, something stiff, and then it just has this fake leather casing around it. But these pieces, the lacing all around the entire edge of the strap, that seems like it's real leather, but the uh, Figures Toy Company website doesn't say that the lacing is made out of real leather. It doesn't even say that the lacing is made out of fake leather. It just says it's a fake leather strap or simulated leather strap with lacing around it. And it looks like a triple braided lacing, which is pretty cool because sometimes you see double, blade, double braided, sometimes you see triple braided. There's so much detail in the etching and the Wrestling Superstore says it has both 2D and 3D etching. The painting is very precise and intricate as well. Although the blue on the flag of the USA and the flag of Australia, it seems a little bit too light of a blue than what it should be. Seems more like a baby blue for Australia. And I don't know, just a plain blue, not, not that royal navy blue or whatever, that dark navy blue that you normally see. Um, but other than other than that, all the design, the sculpting, the painting, and everything else is super detailed and super precise and just absolutely beautiful. And it has that complete mirror finish for the plates, as you normally see from the Figures Toy Company or the WWE shop. I was talking about uh, the mirror plating when I was reviewing the Premier Dome Globe. Sometimes the mirror plating makes the championship belt replicas seem like actual replicas or, or toys or something. Because when you see the actual belts on TV, either there's so much etching or there's texturing or the plates are just beat up and worn up that it doesn't look like a mirror finish like these plates. Like you can actually see everything in it. It's, it's a mirror, man. So the center plate measures about 9 inches tall by a little bit over 11 inches wide. And each side plate is about 7.75 inches by 7.75 inches because they're perfect squares. And there's like these little false screws on the front of each side plate and on the main plate. So I'm sure it's to replicate the original design of the NWA Dome Globe. They probably screwed in the plate from the front onto the strap. But these are just false screws because when you look at the back side, you can see that there's four screws that go into posts into the back of the side plates instead of just two false screws right here. And uh, underneath those false screws are these like black stud looking things. They almost look like rocks. They're also on the main plate here. And I honestly thought all the NWA Dome Globe globes had like diamonds right here. So I thought they would give you sim simulated diamonds. And I reviewed the Premier Dome Globe before which was based off the Dome Globe from the early 2000s, which was made by uh, Reggie Parks. That one had simulated diamonds on them, so I thought all of them were like that. This one is based off the NWA Dome Globe from the 1980s, which was uh, designed by Dave Milliken, I believe. And it has these black studs right here and then on each side plate. So that was a little bit surprising. <clears throat> And also the dome globe from this 80s version is a lot more recessed compared to the dome globe from the early 2000s version. But the wrestlers, that 3D etching of the wrestlers on the side of the main plate 
it is really high quality and you can see all this detail in uh and the wrestlers, of course, they're naked, so it's not like there's a lot of detail in the clothing or whatnot. But you can actually see detail in their hands and their face and all that. And one is pinning the other to the to the mat, to the floor, whatever you want to call it. But when I looked at that premier championship from the for the NWA Dome Globe, man, that wrestling fixture or whatever you want to call it, it was just horrible on the premier replica. Fix Toy Company version just blows it out of the water. So I actually wanted to read the description of this belt from the Figures Toy Company website, the Wrestling Superstore, but they got rid of the original uh, listing of the belt since, you know, they stopped selling it. So I used the Wayback Machine, which archives pretty much all websites around the internet, and I look, looked at that post or page or whatever you want to call it, that listing from years back, and I was able to get the information. It says... It's the belt that defines pro wrestling. Its lineage has been traced back from the very first world championship. It has been held by wrestling's biggest stars and has been defended throughout the world. Now, Figures Toy Company is pleased to announce an officially licensed all new adult sized ultra deluxe replica belt of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Based on the 80s version of the championship, this is a next generation style belt with 3D plates that vary from 5 to 6 millimeters thick, making it the thickest NWA replica produced. The simulated leather strap, which features braiding along the length of it, measures 56.25 inches long and can fit up to a 50 inch waist. The center plate measures 9 inches tall and the belt weighs in at 5.45 pounds. The nameplate on the center medallion is removable and it unscrews from the front and can be engraved with the name of your choosing. And I got a Ric Flair nameplate to go with my Ric Flair autograph and a Dusty Rhodes nameplate. So yeah, I really love the NWA Dome Globe. I know there are many iterations or versions of it, but this was one of the first replicas I wanted to buy when I started collecting championship belts, which has only been about one year. This month marks the one year anniversary when I started collecting championship belts. Of course, I had to sell a number of my figures to get some of these belts, but hey, you gotta gotta break some eggs to make a, an omelet or whatnot. But I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this NWA Dome Globe replica. Has eight by two snaps on both sides. Has these little grommets, two by two by three, three by two by two. So it's like the same kind of goldish, bronzish color around the edges, but then there's this black glossy paint in the middle. Same black glossy paint as this. And the black glossy paint is just applied so smoothly. When you look at that Premier replica, it was just like globbed on or something like that. This is a really high quality NWA National Wrestling Alliance Dome Globe from the Figures Toy Company, Ultra Deluxe. Mine was signed by the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, 16 time world champion, woo! Um, really, the only downsides I see is the color of the blue. That's not the right Australia blue, and that's not the right American blue. Other than that, everything seems top-notch. Oh yeah, and I would have liked the entire strap to be leather. Um, I'm sure I can buy a, another full leather strap, but then it wouldn't have the official NWA Figures Toy Company license patching, patch and all that stuff sewn into the back of the strap. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. If you like this video or appreciated me doing it, you can give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment below telling me what you think of this ultra deluxe replica from the Figures Toy Company. And subscribe if you want to see more wrestling championship belt replica reviews or anime figure reviews. Or sometimes I go to conventions, look at collectibles, meet up with wrestlers, try and get their autographs. Do a bunch of different things like that. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. I'll see y'all later, and as always, keep on collecting.